Hey YouTube, I'm out here today. It's uh, I think it's 21st of March, something like that. It's finally got up in the 50s, and uh, decided to take the little nappy for a ride. Got it last year, so figured I'd give everybody a one re one year review and what I think about it. But definitely like it. Um, unfortunately, I joined the the wipeout club, I guess, but. Only thing I broke was scratching stuff up, so you're gonna see that. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just give you a walk around. Yeah, a lot different from the last update from Florida, but uh, I got the grasshopper green, as Honda likes to call it, and right now got. Not many miles on it, so not too many, but we're getting there. So, only things that I changed on it was I'm kind of fat, so I extended the mirrors out, and then I actually changed out the headlight for LED, like a lot of people are doing. Not very hard to do. I just did an add a fuse and then uh, went from there. That way I didn't have to cut any wires or anything. Um, I know everybody's seen these before, but I added the back racks and planning on making some camping videos this summer with it. And then in here, got an extra gas tank in case I run out of gas. I'm not really anywhere close to a gas station. The closest gas station is about six miles from here at the moment. But I'm actually in one of the state parks that's by my house. So, well, it's about 30 miles from my house, I guess, something like that. But, uh, got a couple ideas to do with it. I don't ever have anybody on the back, so these are probably going to get switched over to fishing rod holders or fishing rod holder added to it somehow. And,. As far as when I wiped out, all I did was scratch this up a little bit. But everything's fine. Took it to the shop, they tore everything apart, checked it out. We straightened everything. The only thing I really did was the triple tree needed realigned and then just doesn't straighten the handlebars out, but nothing was bent. So all cosmetic. So I'm gonna be doing videos on whenever I fix stuff like how to change this piece out in your headlight shield headlight this housing and then this one is going to be interesting because i actually messed this up and it was bent backwards so i just beat it straight with a hammer because i couldn't find parts so i'm gonna have to pull off the box out pull this off open this all up put new foot pegs in i want to see if i can actually find some that fold up in case i ever drop it or wreck again unfortunately then yeah so far I got I don't have to figure out what my gas mileage is when I get back but yeah a little navvy if anybody has any questions let me know and I'll put some videos of riding it around too then yeah got your GoPro mount up here so I added that Can you see me in this thing? Yeah. So that's about what I got going on there. Department of Recreation keeps driving past like, what the hell is he doing? How's it going? Just wave so it works for me. But I'll go ahead and start it up for you and see what it sounds like. Cause I know I was curious. I got it last year. Sounds pretty decent, I think. And a lot of people don't like it, but I like it for what it actually is. Doesn't sound bad.
anybody wants to see more of the little Navi, let me know. I'm planning on making some videos with it. I'm planning on making more videos for YouTube, so hopefully everybody can stay in tune, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. But uh, basically, I'm going to make more videos with it. Camping videos, fishing, little Navi adventures, things like that. Testing some stuff with it. So far, top speed I've had it up to is about 53 on a flat, and then downhill with wind behind you, maybe about 55, but the motor's screaming at that point. But, uh, yeah, I've only had to use the kickstart once, because I was an idiot, and left the headlight on, because I switched it to run off the battery, it'll kill the headlight now if it ain't you leave the key on there i'll kill it too but another thing i might do is do a little bit of add-ons like crash bars things like that but other than that not much i'm not really looking to change it for what it is i like it so total noob review of a honda navi good to go if you're a noob like me it's fun it's easy still have to get a license but oh well got a permit we're good but yeah i'm out here at one of the state parks if anybody wants to see a little more of the honda navi give me a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see more thanks for watching